Pump startups and shutdowns are an essential part of basic pump operation. The procedures that we're about to see include some of the basic steps that are often followed during the startup and shutdown of one particular type of reciprocating pump. But keep in mind that startup and shutdown procedures can vary according to the process, the plant, and the pump that's involved. So you'll always need to follow the specific procedures used by your plant. This is the pump we'll use for our demonstration. It's an electric motor-driven diaphragm pump that's used to add chemicals to a wastewater treatment process. The amount of liquid discharged from the pump can be adjusted by this positioner. The positioner controls the amount of liquid that is drawn into the pump on each stroke. It's adjusted to control the amount of chemicals that are added to the wastewater treatment process. The flow paths into and out of the pump are controlled by a series of isolation valves. For this pump, there's an isolation valve for the suction and an isolation valve for the discharge of the pump. The first step in the startup of the pump is to ensure that it's properly lubricated. This involves checking the oil level in the lubricator. Once that's done, the flow paths for the pump are lined up. The suction valve is opened first. This establishes a flow path to the suction of the pump and allows liquid from the chemical tank to fill the pump.